a short update on the energies, and a short update from me. August 26, 2014 Dear brothers and sisters of the light, This has been such an incredible weekend for me and my sister. It was wonderful to be able to spend time with our parents, and it was perfect to be by the sea to connect with the powerful energies that have been coming in during the Lion's Gate portal. Not surprisingly, we were guided to the perfect place to do just that, only a short walk from our parents' house. Two years ago, we literally stumbled across something that we now know is a huge vein of milky quartz that looks like it erupts from the surrounding rock in a cascade of whiteness, like a glacier coming up through the ground. It runs for many, many meters, narrow at first, but wider as it goes almost all the way down to the sea, and it was the most amazing experience to sit there and meditate. We were drawn back to it every single day we spent at our parents, and yesterday, we were guided to do a ceremony there to anchor the completed Lion's Gate energies into Mother Earth. I brought along my crystals and the piece of golden quartz that I found at Lake Bigden this summer, and first my sister and I stood out in the sea while I held these under the water to connect with the energies there. Then, we put the still wet crystals down on the vein of white quartz and sat beside them, and connected to the quartz and to the pond. I said a short incantation and just as I finished it, the sun broke through the clouds. On our first day there, I had found a huge piece of the white quartz almost hidden in a crevasse beneath the vein itself, and I had picked it up and placed it on the rocks. I suddenly knew that we were supposed to release that piece of quartz into the sea, just as we had done with the piece of golden quartz that we released into the river near Lake Junda earlier this summer. So I picked it up and we carried it down to the sea, following the vein of white quartz. It stops a meter or two from the sea, and now, my sister and I completed the circle by throwing that one piece of it into the water while blessing it. It was a powerful moment, and I still get shivers running down my spine when I think of how it looked lying there in the crystal clear water, deep down but close enough for us to see the bright spark of it on the bottom. We hiked to a small cove nestled beneath some steep cliffs nearby, and when we got there, the sun came out again for a short while, just enough time for us to take another swim in the cool clear waters and really be one with the sea. Last night when I was back home again, I picked up the piece of golden quartz to connect with the energies once more before going to sleep. I realized that now it carries not only the energies of the mountains and the lakes, it also carries the energies from the ocean and that huge deposit of quartz, and just as I thought that, I got a huge surge of energy through me. It was as if I melted into the quartz, becoming one with that glacier of white, becoming one with Mother Earth. Suddenly, I saw a crystal skull made from the same kind of white milky quartz as the one by the sea, and I just knew that this was an image of me. For we are all like these crystal skulls, carrying with us so much energy and information and now, all of this is finally starting to come to the surface once again. It was a powerful image, and it was the perfect way to end this weekend. This morning, I sat down to channel, and here is the message that came through. You have perhaps already ascertained that there has been a shift in the atmosphere, and that is entirely correct. For as you have completed another cycle of intense energetic transformations, you have also completed a huge task that in turn will leave you a little bit more leeway in the time ahead. Let us explain. For now, as you exited that tunnel of energetic fluctuations you have given the name the Lion's Gate Portal, you will also in some ways encounter smoother waters for a while. For what was brought in throughout the period of this so-called portal, enabled so much to literally fall into place, and now, we gather that you will all in some way feel these new bits and pieces of your recently discovered virgin territory start to come together in a less turbulent way. And so, as you start out on this new part of the road ahead, we think you will find it an easier one to travel. You see, you have all helped to smooth that way by allowing these powerful energies to come into contact with the surface of this planet in a very literal way, and through that, you have enabled so much more of the supportive system already in place to come into being by being activated by these same energies. For as we have already told you on numerous occasions, 
So much of what is aiding you now will be systems that have been embedded into the very core of this planet a long time ago, above all by your willing participation lifetime after lifetime, and now, it will be very much all systems go. So take some time to sit down and take a deep breath, and see if you can sense this shift in your surroundings in any way. To many, this shift will bring with it a heightened sense of connectivity and an increased ability to sense the unseen that surrounds you on all sides, while for others, this new air, if you will, will bring with it new and exciting opportunities to connect with others, either directly or through your electronic networks. For as we have told you again and again, the threads you have spun all across this world, this glorious web of light will now be activated in such a way, it will literally help to bring you all closer, both in a direct sense but also on an energetic level. In other words, as these systems we refer to start to gain more momentum, so too will you find yourself speeding down this new superhighway of energetic connections, and so, get ready to experience the ride of your lives as they say. For now, so much will start to become apparent to you all as the light is being switched on in room after room and in heart after heart. And so, even if the energetic upheavals will quieten down for a while, you might find yourself even more busy than before sending out messages and receiving them, both within the parameters of your own consciousness, but also out in the ethers of your so-called social networks that you have already established in places like this. And so, do not be surprised if something starts to knock on your door, a certain kind of urge that will lead you to seek out into unknown fields of interest unknown places, or even meet up with some unfamiliar faces. For now, it will all start to feel like home to you, as the doors you have held to open will beckon you to enter and bring you back into contact with everything you thought you had lost contact with forever. Or even everything you did not even know was close to your heart, but will now start to emerge clearer and clearer into your mind so that you and the parts of you that have been waiting for you to find them again will become one again. We know that this is not a message that will seem to be news to so many of you, for you are old hands at redefining yourselves by now, but again, you ain't seen nothing yet as the saying goes, for now, the system buried deep within this planet, this incredible homing device to call it that, will ensure that you do not get lost on the way, but instead, you will begin to make a beeline for what you have been trying to find for so long. For now, it will begin to become crystal clear to you all, in every sense of the word. And so, as the speed picks up, so too will your enthusiasm and excitement, and we venture to guess you will all find much to be excited about in the time ahead. The Constant Companions Love and Light from me, Asia. AsianNorth.wordpress.com